Hello again, Mustangs. I'm sure you've been wondering where MHS News Highlights have been, so we're happy to tell you that the first A-Day of every month will bring about a new Highlights video. I'm Jack Favazza with MHS News, and today we're going to show you some of our best fall feature stories. Fall is traditionally a time of beautiful colors on trees and wonderful pumpkin spice aromas. In 2022, it's also a time to return to pre-pandemic normalcy. Really, it's the second time in my tenure as here uh, that we've actually had a non-COVID start of the school year. So uh, it is back to normal. Uh, we're focusing on what we should be focusing on. And obviously, when COVID is going on, the primary focus had to be safety of the kids uh, and staff as far as protocols. And there's a lot of there was a lot of unknown. You know, a thousand less kids in these halls, a lot easier to supervise, a lot easier to manage. And so this year, I mean, we're back. You know, we're at 2,200 students. Um, it's a large school. It feels like we are back to as close to normal as we can. I've had a lot of surprises here. We all have. Now that we're getting back to normal, many people will return to pumpkin patches and Halloween-themed events. Specifically, many fairs have popped up around the St. Louis area, including Rockwood's annual college fair. College fair is an opportunity for students who are just starting the process of looking at colleges or maybe they've been looking for a while just to meet with representatives from different schools. Some of them are full-time workers like myself. I think that for high schoolers, the idea of college can sometimes be a little abstract and hard to really grasp in concrete terms. And so when you can actually come to a college fair and talk to people who do this for a living or have gone through college, then you can learn a little bit more about what it's actually like to be a college student at very different types of universities, as well as start to break down what the actual process is of going from looking at a college to actually enrolling as a full-time student. At MHS, the fall season also brings about the annual craft fair, sponsored by the Marquette Bands. So we have over 117 vendors and we uh, sold out all our vendor spots. So this is, yes, our largest um, craft fair in several years. Getting vendors to come, they love supporting our bands. And so I didn't have a lot of trouble getting vendors. Where the, my worry always is, is will we have enough shoppers? I, I hope it, it helps the band pay for uniforms and trips and things like that. So I support bands. Too. So that makes me happy. And so that's why I love it that these craft fairs benefit the band. Autumn presents an opportunity to explore harvest themed decor. Painted Tree Boutique, located in Manchester, has plenty of fall options to choose from. We have a, honestly a wide variety of everything there's clothes, candles, jewelry, cooking stuff, um, there's jewels, there's Poppets, there's pretty much everything you could think of. It's nice to be able to come here year round and you can always find what you're looking for seasonal fun things, gifts for people, stuff for the house. They even have beautiful clothes. I will be back. So, this is my first time here, but I will definitely be back, especially for those unique gift ideas or home decor. I think it's a great place to come. And so, I think it's well laid out, it, you know, a mix of a little bit of everything. A main feature of the fall season is the wide variety of pumpkin flavored snacks it presents. A top favorite is the pumpkin spice latte. Here's what Marquette students shared as their favorite fall treats. Hot Cheetos, some of that, bananas. Um, I feel like in the fall I'm, I want like caramel corn or things like that um, or kettle corn or things of that nature and then Halloween just brings on all of the candy. 100 grand is my favorite. Um, popcorn and chips and I like to drink like lemonade, strawberry lemonade. One of my favorite things about fall is that it's soup weather. Um, so that means I can throw everything into the crock pot in the morning and then I come home and dinner's ready and my house smells amazing. So it's like a win-win. That's a great question. That's a really, really good question. I, um, I like popcorn. I'd say I'm a popcorn guy sourdough pretzels, uh, and then a potato chip every now and again is definitely something that I like. That's a wrap for today's MHS News Fall Video Highlights. Be on the lookout for our next Highlights video coming out on November 4th. Until then, I'm Jack Favaza, signing off for MHS News.